So after a night of bad sleep camping out in Motel 6, we repaired John's bike and put Payson in our rearview mirror on our way to meet our fifth rider, Henry Eagle, waiting for us just up the road. How you doing, Henry? Great, great. Nice to finally meet you. We're planning on camping on Navajo land on 6110. This takes right across the Tadahato Point. On a dirt road, I'm really not even sure what this dirt road's called. Dirt road, I think it's just me. Yeah, we're gonna call it dirt road. Ow, the rock just hit me in the hand. <laughs> not like there's anything you can do about it. I-17, keep bearing left. We're not gonna go to I-17. Yep, you're just gonna keep bearing left. We're not gonna go to I-17, but that's just where we're coming out. And back on pavement, it looks like. Yeah, it'll go. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah, look at all these oak trees. Beaver Creek. Beaver Creek. What do you know? After a brief off-road interlude wherein Josh almost lost his second GoPro of the trip, we made our way through the red rocks of Sedona and the twisty roads of Oak Creek Canyon Baby, on our way to Flagstaff I was gonna say, gonna and Tadahatso Point in the Grand Canyon. Oh yeah, baby. Finally get, to, finally get to use the edge of these tires. Yeah. They were feeling lonely, now they're feeling a little better. Now I'm just pushing the edge of my skill. Yeah, don't go too far. Yeah. For me, it's just having this, all this extra weight, it makes me a little nervous. Yeah. Another 15er. Second gear is my friend. Woo, it's even banked nicely. Oh yeah, this is the most amazing pavement I've ever seen. I am so glad this is happening right in front of this car. This is the best you can know, but it's a good one. I don't know, I said it's pretty good. Right. I'm not much of a rule abider. You want to go over? Yeah. They put this gap here for a reason. Clearly, right? There you go. Dude. Cool, huh? Very cool. What'd you think? Look at all. Oak Creek Canyon. After stopping to see the views at Oak Creek Canyon, we continued north through Flagstaff on our way to Tadahatso Point in Navajo Land on the eastern edge of the Grand Canyon National Park. As the miles rolled on and the hours drew late, we pressed on to make our goal, knowing we had to end the trip on 25 miles of unknown dirt road that would take us through mud holes and single track and have us dodge herds of cattle and sheep right up to the edge of one of the most amazing views of our lives racing the sunset the entire way. Okay. Again, watch out for the cattle. They're coming to check us out or are they going away? No, uh, they've been trying to head away from us. They just don't seem to get that we're heading the same direction. Yeah. <laughs> They're not the brightest of animals. I kind of kind of hope they cross over right here. Give us room. Yep, all right, we should be okay. No, oh, now they're on the road. Don't get on the road. Get off the road. Uh, go left here if you can. Sorry, Hen. Who was talking? Woo. Okay. There's a lot of cow trying to move. Guys, get off the road. <laughs> Come on. We're cars. We go on the road. We're bikes. We go on the road. Don't you know this? Got some bumps here. I just don't want to piss them off and have them turn around on me. And I've got no horn. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, move. Go, get out of the road. <laughs> All you gotta do is go left and everything's fine. Want me to pass on the actual side of the road, off the road a little bit, just to get them to move? It's up to you. Guys, come on. Get your head. You guys are exhaust, you know. That's true. There you go. There you go. Watch these more coming towards us. I know. Because they're heading the wrong way. 
We're gonna run this herd into a stampede here. After fighting rough roads, cows, and mud holes for 25 miles in the face of the setting sun, we heard Scott yell at us to stop through our Cena intercoms as he skidded to a halt 50 feet short of a 2,000 foot drop over the edge. It was right there that we would spend the night to await tomorrow's rising sun.